go get him again. Welcome back to the Robezoid channel. I'm your host, Mark, and welcome to a first impression unboxing video on my channel. Today, we are delving into the brand of Mansara and their coffee-based fragrance from the name. You never know uh, with Mansara and Maltal, and this one called Amore Cafe. And what, what do I mean by that is their coffee-based fragrances, mm, they've been kind of lukewarm. I'll be honest, a, a lot of them, they, they utilize their signature rose and it just engulfs the whole thing basically in a lot of them. Um, and I'm talking about Montala and Mancetta. Uh, so their, their coffee-based fragrances, honestly, they've, some of them, they've, they're almost there. They're almost, and we're hopeful that this one is that. Um, they weren't coffee enough personally for me. And uh, from looking at the note breakdown, they got uh, amaretto in here, they got vanilla ice cream, brown sugar, um, and they got vanilla again, so a redundancy. So I'm looking at Montal here because my, my Mancetta collection, and I don't know how many real gourmands they have in their collection that I haven't really smelt any, to be quite honest with you, but Montal, I know. Um, vanilla cake, I really liked from Montal. Uh, chocolate greedy, I really liked from Montal. So they can do gourmands. Coffee, they're, they're almost there. So we'll see if they're there here. The one thing that I did notice is there's no floral in here. So we're already winning um, because I don't think it's going to be engulfed by anything of the big, bold Mansara notes. Now, vanilla could be, you know, a double-edged sword here. What kind of vanilla are we going to get here from Mansara? Is it really going to take over the scent? Um, a vanilla, to honestly, any coffee-based fragrance is better than a rose, personally, for me. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, so let's delve into this. Uh, brand new release, 2023. I think it was released in Europe first, and now it's trickling into North America. So let's delve into it. And again, I'm not a huge Mancetta guy. You can see my Maltals and Mancetas. I got way more Maltals and Mancetas. I'm starting to collect my Mancetas. Mancetta and Maltal are really entry-level niche. Not really. Uh, they're, they're very much known as redundancy. Um, they, they utilize a lot of, of the same notes. Their collections are vast. Um, so it's almost really hard to, to really get into these lines. Um, and their synthetic nature as well. Once you start getting into um, true blue niche fragrances, you know, some that actually have some complexity, some depth, and they're not big, loud, and, and crazy, um, you're gonna start noticing that, you know, fragrance heads that really get into niche are really kind of out of the whole Mensetta Montel thing. Um, that's just the way it goes. Uh, for me, I I like them. Like there's obviously more Montels than Mensetta. I haven't really met a Mensetta that I love yet, yet. They all come with these bags, really. Um, waste of money, honestly, from the brand. If you want to save some money, um, get rid of the bags. Um, so it kind of looks like this Tonka Cola one that they've released recently. I want to, I actually want to smell that one. Uh, magnetic cap, as I see. And let's delve into this one and let's see what I get. I'm going to put it on strip first, then on skin, and it's going to be my scent of the day. Today's perfect day for it. It's plus two Celsius here in Canada. Snow's kind of melting, but it's still cool. Like that's why I'm wearing the hoodie. I'm going out like this, no coat, just hoodie. So let's go, let's uh, smell this one on strip first. Pretty good atomizers, these men set us. Gotta give them credit. Ooh, wow. First thing that hits me is almost like a syrupy, <laughs> almost cough syrupy like um, amaretto, like a, it reminds me of DiSarno. I think that's what it was that my dad used to drink. Um, yeah, it has that <laughs> almond syrupy, caramelly, but with a little bit of a cherry backing to it. That is what I'm getting here. So very good gourmand, very mm, synthetic like Mansara does. So nice, it, it has this, uh, I could tell it's gonna be warm, comforting, um, definitely for gourmand lovers. So this is for all of you out there. I'm getting a little bit of a vanilla quality, but really, 
Oh, a little bit of coffee here, a little bit of that coffee bean. You know what? Not bad off strip. That amaretto um, note <laughs> was shocking off the strip. So let's see if I get a different story on skin. Oop, I think I missed my, my neck there. That's okay, that's enough sprays of this. These, these are usually nuclear. Oh, wow. Um, so it was going more amaretto, like almost li licor like, almost like boozy. You know, that cherry. This is heavily, and I mean heavily, caramel on my, uh, on my skin. Okay, so, you know what? Not bad. Um, yeah, warm, cozy, unisex, men or women can wear this. Again, you gotta like your gourmand fragrances, but you know what it smells like? You know what this reminds me of? A much cheaper brand than this. Um, Manzettos are actually going up in price, but um, it reminds me of um, Comptoir Sud Pacifique and that brand is like sub $100 and they do have like, I, th I think it's called Vanilla Mocha that I have in my collection somewhere. Not that it reminds me of that smell, but it reminds me of that kind of blending. And Mancetta and Montal, blending wise, I don't think you'd be talking about the top 10 blends in the game. <laughs> I don't think they would sniff that. Um, so it smells like a Comptoir Sud Pacifique. And what do I mean by that is a very a gourmand, one dimensional, um, I don't think you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna put some money on the table, but I would probably put money on the table that this is gonna be very linear as a scent. You're not gonna see much development on this. What you get is what you get. And with gourmands and high price tags, you almost have to be unique because gourmands are, I don't know, like you can do these cheaply, very cheaply. They don't smell expensive. They don't smell like luxury. Um, they smell like Bath and Body Works. They smell like stuff like that. And it's very synthetic. And there is some that can pull it off. Um, these are ty type of fragrances that I would, you know, it's not your signature scent. Don't wear this every day. Um, once in a while, like a new Harlem from Bond number no. nine. It smells like maple syrup um, and coffee. And that one's absolutely gorgeous, but it's very syrupy and it's very dense. Um, this one, the density is, it's actually a little thin for a Mancetta. Wow, it, so there's a little bit of a coffee nuance, like a latte, um, you know, it's still synthetic as a Mancetta would be. And again, this kind of fragrance idea, like how can it not be synthetic? You know, it can't really be natural. You know, the most natural coffee based fragrance that I've smelt in my journey, and I've smelt a lot of them. Um, I always go back to follow by kerosene. Um, follow by kerosene is the most authentic, the best coffee based fragrance of all time. Um, this does not even sniff that. This has this, even New Harlem does this better to be quite honest from bond number nine. And I mean that by like a caramel syrupy, Thing. And I'm not saying that they, they both smell like they really don't, um, but they're in the same general idea. Um, this is very caramel centric on my skin. However, on the strip, it was very amaretto, almond with a little bit of a cherry hue, but, and this has more of a dryness, like almost a biscuit with a caramel drizzle with a little bit of coffee. There is that amaretto blast off the strip, but on here it's still there, but it's very more three-dimensional on my skin than one-dimensional on the strip. So sweet, kind of biscuity, lots of caramel, a uh, little splash of coffee. And again, what I like about this is that it doesn't have a big dose of floral rose that pushes it, which Monsanto and Montel is known for. It's, it's void of that. So it's a true blue gourmand, lots of vanillic tendencies, um, synthetic like Monsanto does. However, it seems a little more polished. A little more polished. Like this was a, like <laughs> when it hit me with the Am Amaretto Blast, it was very, pungent, like very Mancetta Montal, like, holy, like, oh my God, like shock the senses. Like, oh my God, too much, too much. 
it, it's it's warming up here, but here much better blending um, on my skin. I'm getting a lot more of a three-dimensional scent. Um, there's no rough edges like Mancera and Montel are known for, but again, they're gourmands have some nice blending to it. And I'm talking about Montel more than Mancera, the vanilla cakes and the uh, chocolate greedies. Um, one dimensional, yes, very gourmand, of course, but um, they have this, this smoothness to them because there's not really anything else going on. And this is where this one has a lot more personality than a vanilla cake and a chocolate uh, greedy. Um, so it has a lot more going, which I really like. A lot more polished than a lot of Manceras and Montels that I've smelt before. You know how long Manceras and Montel has been out. Um, their recipe or their uh, their blending hasn't really changed, but it seems maybe with this one it seems much better. So am I a fan? I am a fan. It seems um, it doesn't have that initial. And maybe it's just the way I am today. And again, this is how a first impression is. It's, it doesn't give you that much information, you know, and I, and I hate fragrance reviewers that do this. Like they, they, they say, this is a fragrance review and their bottle is just as, uh, as much of a dent that I have. It's not a fragrance review. Like I can't really tell you, but I feel like it's not, it doesn't have the density and it, it did on the strip, but on my skin, it really feels more mellowed than I was coming to expect coming into this. So a lot of positives. I feel like a little more polished as a fragrance. I do like this. I'm a gourmand guy. So like you can't, you know, you need to temper your expectations. Coffee based. Now let's go to the coffee based. And, and this is, of course, they're, they're going on this amaretto coffee, like basically coffee on vanilla ice cream, I think is there with a little biscuit on the side. Is that idea generally what I'm getting out of this? Yeah. Um, yeah, um, that's what I'm getting out of this. So it's very much what the picture imposes. Coffee based as far as the coffee, because a lot of people are going to buy this just for coffee. Is that the central theme? No. Um, however, I rather have a tame coffee with a lot of these gourmand notes, which this is what this has, than the rose that they've been doing with a floral coffee thing. You just want more from the coffee. You want more of a gourmand. Um, this is more my speed. Um, yes, tons of vanilla. Yes, I'm getting tons of caramel in here, even though not listed. I'm, I am getting like a uh, almost a dried biscuit type of thing. I am getting, you know, that amaretto um, cherry almond like thing, like almost like there's tonka bean in here. Is there tonka bean in the notes? I don't think so. It's vanilla. Um, so there is again that synthetic mancera feel, so but a little more polished. Um, yeah, the coffee is kind of like. <sighs> like a latte more than anything to me. And here it has more rough edges, like the coffee is more of a black coffee. Hmm. This is more like more vanilla centric on my skin. I'm done with you. Yeah. So yeah, warm, cozy, unisex. Yes, um, actually, you know what? I've panned Mancera quite a bit on the channel, quite a bit. And you know me, I'm a straight shooter. Um, just because I dislike a brand and their track record, I will always give them, continue to give them chances because you can evolve, you can do. And with Montal and Mancera, you know, I put them both in the same category. Um, so I know what Montal can do. Pierre Montal, <laughs> Pierre Mancera, <laughs> same person, he's a fictional character. Uh, <laughs> And I know that they've, you know, they're they're really pinpointing more the the vanillic portion of this than the coffee portion. I know what they can do with coffee, and I, I've been honestly, they've been getting a little better. You know, they've done several with both brands together. You know, um, but their 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 gourmands, their vanillas are actually on the Montal side. Very very good, personally for me. Um, good enough. Um, not some of the best in the game. You know, you got your vanilla right here. Gatelain is the king of vanilla, tonka bean. You can't beat them. But as a Mancetta release, it's very solid. I like this one. I do. I really do like this one. So now that you heard my take, I'd love to see yours in the comments below. And it's kind of weird that I got like 
almost kind of two different ideas on the strip and on the skin. Um, so always test on skin if you can, because you're not going to be walking around with a couple strips in your hand going, smell me, people. I, I don't know, I kind of, I'm missing the amaretto from the strip, which is on the ground now. Um, I really liked that almond, like cherry vibe. I'm kind of missing it. This is more complex than that, but yeah, a good one from Monsetto. You got to give them props when you can, right? So as always, a greater pour fragrance will make a lasting impression. Choose your coffee-based fragrance wisely. And again, my recommendation, if you're clicking on this, use your first time seeing me as a fragrance reviewer and you're looking for a coffee-based fragrance, like coffee, true blue coffee, and you're looking at this one, no. No, this is more of a the idea of what Mancetta is saying, yes. Um, and I would highly recommend you to go to follow by the brand of Kerosene, which is an indie brand, but uh, definitely for your bang for your buck for coffee. If you like Starbucks and you want that kind of idea, nobody can be Kerosene personally for me as what I've sniffed. Um, so yeah, enjoy your coffee-based fragrances. I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.